So in this video we're learning how to draw project S curves for cumulative costs of a project. Uh, first of all we'll need a Gantt chart so let's do that right here. We'll set up the axes. And then we can just go in and fill the bars. So activity A has no predecessor. It's two days long so it starts at the beginning. So we'll go like this. Start at zero and go right up to the end of the second day. Activity B depends on activity A and it's three days long. So we'll come down here. One, two, three. Activity C depends on B, it's three days long, so activity C, B, one, two, three, just like that. And activity D also depends on activity B and it's two days long, so we find activity B come down one, two days. And then activity E depends on D and it's three days long, so we'll find the end of D and go from here, one, two, three, taking us right to the end of the tenth day. All right, so now with uh, when we're drawing project S curves, the best way to do this is to split up your whole Gantt chart into a series of, of periods, and these periods would be defined as, uh, or they're defined by the points where any activity starts or ends. So here, I'll just draw some vertical lines here, and we can split up all of the periods. So we'll take one here, right at the very beginning, right, because you see activity A is just started. Uh, now the next time any activity starts or ends would be here on this too, the end of the second day. So We'll come down, we'll draw that straight through. Uh, this graph down here is where we'll be drawing the project S-curve. So you'll see by stacking them, you'll have a, it'll be a lot easier for you to manage everything that's going on. Uh, the next time any activity starts or ends would be here on the end of the fifth day. So we're going to come through and we're going to draw that line straight down. Uh, now this method also, this works really well if you're doing it on paper, using a, like just a pencil and paper. Uh, just always make sure to stack your graphs like this. Uh, Okay, so the next time any activity starts or ends is here on the 7, right? Because uh, activity D is ending and activity E is starting. So either of those would have been grounds to draw a line through. Uh, this is the next place where an, any activity starts or ends. So this period here would only be one day long. And then here, obviously, at the very end of the project, we have uh, the end of the last period. All right, so let's just go and we'll just clean this up a little bit. Maybe make that look a little bit nicer. All right, so let's label these. So this would be period one. Uh, oops, let's go like this. This would be period one. This would be period two, three, four, and period five. So now what we want to do is we want to break up the cost of each period per day. So we'll have, uh, uh, let's write that here. We'll have period total. This would be the period total cost, and then uh, the cumulative We'll draw it right below, uh, right below. Cumulative, just like that. All right, we're looking at period one. The only activity that's happening in period one is activity A, and activity A costs $300 per day. So $300 per day, there's two days, so the period total, we're going to have $600. Uh, and then the cumulative cost obviously would just be 600 because this is up till this point. So period two, we have the only activity that's happening is activity B. It's $400 per day. So we have 400 times three. That will give us a period total of $1,200. Uh, we could write, you know, we could write each day down here, but we're just going to skip that step um, just to save some time. Uh, but now our cumulative will be 1200 plus 600, giving us a cumulative of $1,800. Uh, that's the cumulative project cost by the end of period two. All right, so now let's look at period three. So we have activities C and D both happening, so C and D. Uh, C costs $400 per day, D costs $200 per day, but so during this period, because these two activities are happening at the same time during this period, uh, we're spending a total of $600 per day during period three. So, but there's two days in period three, so that will add another period total of $1,200 for period three. Then we get $1,200 plus $1,800. This will give us a cumulative project cost of $3,000. This look like sixes, maybe. $3,000 by the end of period three. All right, period four. We have activity C and activity E. So we have 400 plus 100, uh, right, because that's the cost per day for these two activities. So we are going to be spending $500 total for this period. Uh, and then we'll add that to our cumulative, so that'll be 3500 All right. Uh, and then lastly, period five, we just have one activity happening here, and it's costing us $100 per day for two days. So the period total would be $200, and 
and we'll just add that on so we'll finish up with $3,700. Now we'll go and draw our project S curve for the cumulative costs down here. Uh, so first of all, we'll make sure that we have exactly the same axes and then this will be tracking the cost throughout the project. So the this axis here will be, will be in dollars. So let me just do that right now. So now all we have to do is we already know the cumulative costs for each period and the summing up the, the end of the last period would be the whole project cost. So we just start at zero dollars and then we just find um, we just find the cumulative cost here at the end of each period and just plot that. So at the end of period one, we have $600. So we just start at zero and we'll go up to about 600, which is right there. Now from here, the end of period two will be at $1,800 for the cumulative cost. Or we could say we're gonna add 1,200 from the 600, but it's easier just to go up to find where 1,800 is. So we're going to be about somewhere around there. Then at the end of period three, we're jumping up to $3,000. So we start here, go up to 3,000, just like that. Uh, end of period four, we jump up to 3,500, like that. And then we're gonna finish off the project, end of period five, $3,700, which happens to be the, the cumulative cost of the entire project. And there you go, that is the project S-curve for cumulative costs for this project.